Um, I'd like to invite everybody who is participating in the annual general, general meeting to please turn on your webcams and your microphones. And again, thanks to Paul and his support there, Arnell. We appreciate you guys. All right, so <clears throat> a little bit of context is required by our bylaws to have this meeting. It will be led by our AIRS board president, Catherine Ray. Um, she will give you a little bit more outline of what's going on with the agenda, and then I will come back on and let you know what is happening next. Um, <clears throat> Clive, do you want to make sure this is in presentation mode so we can see everything? Um, Clive will be running the um, slides. Catherine, you're on. Morning. I think it's still morning for everyone. Can you see me? All right, Kira. Yes, you're good. All right, wonderful. Um, so I'd like to welcome you as the AIRS Board of Directors President to our annual general membership meeting. We hold this every year in conjunction with our Congress and our, our com, com friends <laughs> and also um, in accordance with our bylaws. So on that, I'd like to call the AGM for 2020 to order, and I welcome everyone. As you can see on the screen, we have an agenda, and it's pretty simple, and it won't take long, but it is, um, it is mandatory that we are in conjunction with our bylaws and our legal standards. So next, I'd like to go to um, some opening remarks. I'd like to, number one, thank everyone, and especially everyone that's here, um, we'd like to be face to face, to face but unfortunately um, that couldn't happen this year. But um, because of that, we've, we've, we've come through a lot and we've made some great changes and rose to many challenges. So I just want to thank the membership, like I said in my previous remarks, and for all the creativity and the support in each other within the network. So on that, I'd like to move to the next slide and just, I wanted to just review some highlights from 2019. Um, from our AIRS networker, and I know many, if not most of you participate in one forum or another, but we have 93 different communities. Um, we grew to 7,200, over 7,200 members in the networker and 601 of those were first-time logins. We have over 2,400 discussion posts and over 1,100 of those were new discussions. I think probably half of those were everyone during um, the pandemic posting their work from home pictures with their favorite pets and assistants. So that was really good. Um, we have over 605 new documents and over 8,500 documents total downloaded by our members. Under the certification and digital badges, we did um, change over to new certification names, community resource specialist, community resource specialist aging and disabilities, and community resource specialist data curator. And we added 629 new members to our over 4,000 current certification holders. So that is wonderful. Under accreditation, application and awards. In 2019, we had 29 applications from the US and Canada were submitted for accreditation process and 21 of those were for re-accreditation. Additional accomplishments, our website, um, redesign of the AIRS website. Um, we had 11 webinars, including one with the most attendees at 651 attendees. We added in-person centered approaches and techniques to the INR training manual. So I wanna thank all of our committees, um, all of the board of directors for those who are new, our volunteers from our member organizations throughout Canada and the US, mm -hmm. and all of our committee members are also volunteers. So they dedicate their expertise and their time to always advancing heirs, and we thank you all. So now we get to the really good stuff. Um, we are going to review the meeting minutes from our June 2019 AGM, Annual General Mem Membership Meeting, and I'd like to turn it over to Sandra Bond, who is our AIRS Secretary. Thank you, Catherine. Good morning. As AIRS Secretary, it's my responsibility to share with you 
the um, minutes from the 2019 annual general membership meeting. And um, if we could go to the next slide where we will see page one. Um, and if you could take a moment to, did we see page one? There we go. Um, take a, a, a moment to review that. And then we'll move on to page two. And if you could take a moment to review that. So these draft minutes will need to be approved and I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Thank you, Sandra. I see we have a motion from David Job from United Way Greater Houston and a second, a support from Patrick Rogers. So we have a motion and a support and then those, all that are in favor, I believe we have a poll for you to accept the minutes from AGM 2019 as presented. Correct. Let me pull that up. That was the wrong one. All right, everybody, motion to accept the minutes of the AIRS 2019 AGM dated June 2019 as provided by the AIRS secretary. You may vote yay, nay, or you may abstain. We'll have about 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll end that polling. Share those results, Madam President. It looks like we have 91% that have said yay, no, no nays, and 9% have abstained. Wonderful, and thank you all. We have accepted the 2019 AGM minutes into the record. Next. Another formality that we are required by our bylaws is to accept our financial report. Um, can we go back one slide, please? There we go. Um, from the AIRS financial statements from 2019, I'm going to turn it over to Patrick Rogers, who is our AIRS treasurer. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Let's see the video here. The, um, as you see the, on the screen in front of you, the uh, summary of the finances for last year, I first like, would, would like to thank Edward D'Angelo, the treasurer, until a couple months ago um, for a great job that he did. You can see just as a summary that we had a total revenue of 1,054,236, which is up 4.4% 4 .4 from 2018. Our expenses for services and management in general had a total of 886,476, which is up just 0.1%. And um, under the management in general, actually much of that or, or a lot of that is actually staffing that goes towards the program and services themselves. Um, so we're changing assets, we're up 35% uh, of $160,760. And we have end of the year assets of 44,468, which truly does make us a very strong organization to continue the services and even increase the services potentially of what we serve for our members. So thank you. That's the report for 2019. Thank you, Patrick. And please thank the Audit and Finance Committee as well. They do such a wonderful job. Um, with that, um, I see I'm going to entertain a motion for acceptance of our air financial statements for 2019. I see we have a motion from David Erlinson from the board and a support from Pam Hellyer. Thank you. So we have a motion and support. All those in favor, please indicate your vote by taking the poll. So we have a motion to accept the AIRS 2019 financial statements as provided by the AIRS treasurer. We will let that voting go for about 10 more seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one. We will end the poll. Madam President, it looks like 85% have voted aye. There is one person with a nay and 14% have abstained. Wonderful and thank you all. So the financial statements from fiscal year 2019 will has passed and will go into the record. Thank you, Patrick. And again, thank the committee for us. And I really also need to thank Sandra as our um, board secretary. She does a wonderful job of taking our minutes. At this point, I'd like to introduce to you the 2020-21 Board of Directors Officers. I'm honored um, myself to be the heirs board president. Um, I'm from Heart of Florida, United Way in Orlando, Florida. I'd also like to take the opportunity to introduce our new president-elect, David Job from United Way of Greater Houston. Our secretary, as you've met, is Sandra Bond from United Way of Central Maryland, and our treasurer, Patrick Rogers. Thank you all for all your good work. Next, I'd like to introduce our 2020 21 Board of Directors members. Tom Buckley from the Epilepsy Foundation of America. Donna Burnham from United Way of Greater Atlanta. David Erlinson from Rice University. Pam Hillier from Community Connections 211 Central East Ontario. Shai Lewis from the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Lindsay Paulson from 211 United Way of the Midlands. Jenny Pollock from Michigan 211. Jamie Saunders from St. Louis Area on Aging. Courtney Smith, United Way of Rhode Island. Sherry Banovich from the Heart of West Michigan United Way. Geraldine Dresser from Distress Center of Calgary. Lucinda Lori, United States Marine Corps Headquarters. Nanette Rolov, Advancing States, and Sarah Tribe Clark from the National Association of Area Agencies on Aging. I encourage you to go to our resources area within the conference and you can find a real nice presentation with more information on each of our board of directors. Next, I'd like to take a few minutes to especially thank our departing Board of Members Directors. We have four members that are going off the board this year. And I, on behalf of the board, we really wanna thank the four of them for all of their hard work through the years towards AIRS and our mission. Edward D'Angelo with the Information Center and the Family Resource Place in Taylor, Michigan. Edward has also served as our immediate past treasurer and has done a wonderful job leading our audit and finance committee and we thank you. Joan Phelps from the United Way of Central Virginia, Lynchburg. Joan is a past president of AIRS and has been very helpful and has stayed on and um, her mentorship to the board has been just wonderful. So thank you, Joan. Laverda McCulloch, from the Tennessee Commission on Aging and Disability in Nashville, Tennessee. Laverta will be greatly missed in all the um, expertise that she has given to the board. Vicki Mize from the United Way of Greater Houston. Vicki is our immediate past president and we all will miss Vicki so much in your mentorship and your leadership. So on behalf of the board of directors, thank you to all of you. You will be receiving parting gifts from the board. I would be remiss on behalf of the board to give a special thank you to our air staff. They work so hard behind the scenes to make things happen. Um, I'll start with Clive Jones, who's the air's executive director, Amy Fish, our accreditation director, Kara Cameron Wood, our training and education director, Phoebe Hanover, our Membership Engagement Director, Matthew Hundley, our Certification Director, Moyed Zeraldin, 
our membership director, and Sharon Galler, who is the director of STAT, our contracted services. On behalf of everyone, we thank all the staff for all their work. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Pam Hillier. She is on the board of directors, the executive committee, and also serves as our current chair of our standards committee. And she has some good news for all of you. So Pam. Thank you, Catherine. It's a pleasure to be here to give you all a very brief update on the new uh, version 9.0 of the AIRS standards. So I just wanted to um, kind of give you a, a sense of how we got here. The standards are really um, a set of goals. For those of you that are new, there are five sections. Those sections have remained the same in this version. We have 27 uh, standards in there, uh, same number as the previous version. What is different is some of the, uh, we have 200 quality indicators this year in this document. And you can think of the quality indicators as little micro goals that uh, we can all work towards achieving each of the standards. In this edition, we've done a lot of work on the glossary of helpful definitions that um, will be useful for those that are not familiar with some of the terms. The process, how we got here, was um, canvassing all the members and getting feedback at the beginning. We recruited an amazing uh, standards committee team all across the sector who spent hundreds of hours over about 18 months in reviewing, revising. There might have been a little bit of a debate and discussion, uh, but really um, opportunity to learn from each other. After the committee completed their work, um, the membership received a draft version again for comment, and just recently the Board of Directors approved that final 9.0 version. So the next steps will be that you'll all receive a, a, a new version after the conference, along with a comparison document. And I'd like to encourage you to review that comparison document to really see what's new and what's changed, and it's really kind of where we're going in the future. AIRS will continue to disseminate the document through their various channels, check out all the new um, entries, as I said before. Um, the AIRS Accreditation Commission will be using this version when they uh, review their next set of criteria for the uh, accreditation process. And remember to share the document with your uh, stakeholders and your funders. It's really the ultimate explanation of the complexity of our work and why INR is such a valuable part of the human service system. So I want to thank our committee and the board uh, for getting us through to this part. So back to you, Catherine. Thank you so much, Pam, for that presentation. It's exciting work and I really have to thank all of you um, you and your committee, the Standards Committee, for all their hard work on this. So um, for another year, um, we have presented an annual general membership meeting, a little different format that we're used to doing. Um, we usually do it at a luncheon in, during the conference, so um, I'm sorry we won't be able to bring the dessert carts around this year, but we're very happy you're all here. Um, and thank you on behalf of the board and the staff and all of you for participating and your support and all your expertise. Um, so with that, um, those that are on the board, they know I usually start a meeting and end a meeting with a cowbell. I was given a really nice gavel on behalf of the board, um, but I like the cowbell because we all need cowbell sometimes, a little more cowbell. But unfortunately, my cowbell has been held hostage in my work office for the last six months. So you'll just have to have to go with, thank you all, this meeting is adjourned. Enjoy the rest of the conference and the workshops. So happy you're here. So before all of you go, I want to give you just a couple of reminders. Um, I want to remind you about being able to go and see the, the pictures of all of the AIRS board members on the resources page. I want to remind you about filling out the evaluation for today. There's a prize for that. I want to remind you, and if you're curious, go to the contest page and enter today's contest for photos, and you will find a bear with AIRS. If you're curious, go check it out. Um, I also want to make sure that you all know that we have about a half an hour that you can have a nice break. Please visit our virtual exhibit hall. Those exhibitors have helped us keep the price low for you to be able to be here today. 
and we're grateful for them and their support. Um, go have a chat with them. Go see what they're about. Um, a lot of them are there to chat with you. Um, we also just wanted to remind you that our next session will begin at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Your choices are a panel discussion on database curation, how the work has changed and will change, or tools for navigating effective communication, active listening, empathy, and beyond. Thank you for attending today's plenary. Thank you for those who stayed for the annual general meeting. We want to encourage you to take a quick break, and we'll see you all back here soon.